Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video of Pregnancy Case Processing series. In the part 1 of Pregnancy Case Processing video, I have covered few basic overview and background about the pregnancy. In the today's video, we will discuss few general conventions about the pregnancy case processing. With all of that said let's jump directly into the video. When it comes to case processing in pharmacovigilance, we may find it challenging to process special situation reports. Like, off-label use cases, lack of efficacy cases, pregnancy cases and so on. Because the convention to handle all of these special situation reports are, significantly differs, from the convention of regular ICSR case processing. The most challenging part of processing pregnancy cases is, deciding how many cases we need to create from the report received. In pregnancy case processing, we have three approach of creating the cases. The first approach is to only create one mother case. The second approach is to create one mother case and one baby case. And, the third approach is to create one mother case, one baby case, and one father case. So, as to gain a better understanding on assessing pregnancy report. In today's video, we'll go over a handful scenarios wherein we only need to create one mother case. First scenario is, the mother developed a skin rash, after taking the medicine, and decided to have a spontaneous abortion. Second scenario is, after taking the medicine, the mother developed a skin rash, and her fetus died without being diagnosed with, any type of malformation. In the third scenario, the mother develops skin rash after taking the medicine, and gives birth to a healthy baby. In addition, the baby had no adverse events or malformations. In this all three scenarios, we'll create one mother case, with two adverse events. The first event should be coded with LLT, skin rash. Whereas the second event should be coded with LLT, maternal exposure during pregnancy. LLT, stands for low level term, and it's a hierarchy in Medra dictionary. For a better understanding of Medra, you can watch my overview video from my button above. Now we'll look at, a couple of more scenarios, of only creating mother cases. So, the fourth scenario is, the mother had no adverse effects after taking the medicine, but she decided to have an abortion. The fifth scenario is, the mother had no adverse events after taking the medicine, but her fetus died without any information about the malformation. In both these scenarios, we will create one mother case, with one adverse event, which is, maternal exposure during pregnancy. So, the major takeaways from the above scenarios are, Once pregnant women is exposed to any of the drug, we need to create one mother case, even though no adverse event is experienced by the pregnant women. In all pregnancy cases, it's mandatory to code at least one event, which is, maternal exposure during pregnancy, which can reflect special situation scenario of, pregnancy case processing. So far in this video, we have discussed almost all the scenarios in which we need to create only one mother case. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about special situation reports, please check out these videos. Stay tuned for the next video of pregnancy series, which will be released soon. Please show your support for my work by giving this video a thumbs up below, and sharing it with your friends. And, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.